Hello, welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. In front of us, we have the Texan DR920C. It's an AM FM shortwave portable radio. Purchase this radio from Amazon for a total of $28.50. This is what I got. Came in the box, Texan. It's a picture of it. Model number, Happy Texan Family, <laughs> or something like that. And there's just some other oh, frequency chart. So this is like a 12 band receiver, which is cool. It's AM, FM, and it has 10 bands on the shortwave. And then on the back here, it's got more Chinese writing, and then two different colors. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. Dun, dun, dun. Get this bag, cool. I think that's it inside there. All right. Some stuff in the bag there. So the bag is just a simple kind of velvety brown. It's got like a little liner to it. Nice freebie. Paperwork. There's your Kato warranty registration guide. Send it in. Get warrantied. Here's your instruction manual. Pre please read before using. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the only thing you guys probably want to see is some of this stuff again. Frequency chart for the frequency nuts. Yay! All right, if all that helps you. Pretty basic stuff. All right, let's go to the radio. Here it is. Comes in this like little plastic bag. Take that out. All right, dimensions of this radio. We have five inches by three inches by an inch thick. That was easy. Let's do perspective. We got some radios we can put next to it. We have a CC pocket. Doo -doo. Yeah. And then we have Iron Man. Give you an idea. And then we have the big brother the PL310 ET. Again, give you an idea for size. All right. So, features of this DR920C. Uh, let's see on the left hand side, we have analog volume control. <laughs> I love saying that now. I'm going to say it all the time. Uh, we have a wrist strap. Sweet. We have a he uh, headphone jack, it says earphones, but headphone, uh, mono, both ears, no stereo, a hiss on the low level, though it's not bad listening to on the medium wave. I did enjoy it. Here we have DC in of three volts. Um, it does disengage the batteries, so it does not charge the batteries. So just so you know. On the front, we have name, Texan, model number, speaker, about an inch and three quarters, possibly two inches if you include the mounting flange. Here we have digital LCD frequency and clock display. So there's a clock there. Uh, this radio is a analog radio with a uh, digital frequency counter. Here we have buttons. We have alarm on off feature, alarm set, time set, hour minute, a light button. Has a little light, what do you call it? Amber light there. It's kind of a kind of dim, but at night you'll be able to see it. See it's on for 10 seconds. We have a sleep function, which you can set to up to two hours which is nice. Here we have band select, FM, medium wave, and then 10 shortwave bands. Pretty solid switch. Works pretty well. Right hand side, we have the tuning wheel. It's pretty stiff. It actually, like I said, is, is pure analog. There's a string there and it's, I don't know why there's a string attached, but that's that's how it is. Uh, there's, there's a tuning capacitor in there and uh, it tunes it. Here we have the power on off switch. Cool. The back of the radio, we have the antenna. The antenna actually pivots 360 and extends out to 22 inches. Beautiful. There's the kickstand. We have frequency chart on there for you guys. And then this just opens up. And we got a holographic sticker, counterfeiting measure probably. We have our serial number. We have two AA batteries behind here. A little vented case. Awesome. Bottom, nothing, just little feet for it to stand up on. Stands pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and fire this up, see what it sounds like. I was pleasantly surprised with the expanded uh, FM. I found a little Easter egg again. I love getting Easter eggs in here. Always fun with a new radio. So let's go ahead and turn it on and dial it down. Fog are expected through the night, mainly along and north of Interstate 80. Portions of the desert. So I get a NOAA weather band. Sweet. will remain in flood. Yeah. 
And there's some stations in there too. Oh, the frequency counter is fairly accurate too. Hey, you guys stealing my moves, man. Don't be doing that. <laughs> That's cool to see you guys dancing with the radios. You're not making fun of me, I hope. <laughs> it's not fantastic reception-wise, but if I move locations gets better. So 1092, look at that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll go down to Radio Totterber territory here. And we'll see if we can dial in that. Now this radio definitely doesn't have any bass. Um, it's just got a nice uh, high high to mid range, good for voice. But let's go ahead and turn on Radio Totterber transmitter. There we go. We'll do like a minute and a half, two minute demo. You guys can see the light. go gives you a good audio demo turn that off all right so we're gonna go ahead and hook up the shortwave I'm gonna use my external antenna boost it a little bit uh, so with shortwave I've noticed that it's not too bad it's um again this radio reminds me of the R9012 uh, you know if you just covered this and the way it tunes it just the switch and the volume controls if it didn't have this and had the analog display I wouldn't know the difference 
because it seems like they function similarly on the uh, scales here. But with this radio, you get a bonus. You get a clock, you get an alarm, you get a sleep function. Um, pretty neat because uh, the alarm, didn't know if I mentioned to you, you can wake up to the radio, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and go shortwave. Shortwave. We'll go to the bottom of the uh, shortwave one. Okay, I had some activity earlier. Here's shortwave two. The joys of shortwave. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Sometimes. <clears throat> I think we're pretty much at the limit. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, that gives you an idea of the short wave. Let's go on to the medium wave real quick here. And we'll just kind of cruise it real fast and we'll call it. So yeah, fun radio so far, I'm enjoying it. The big thing is seeing where you're at on the scale, it's really nice um, being that this is really accurate. Um, it really makes a difference to me. Um, I'm gonna own a radio like this, this has gotta be accurate and it is, it's amazing. All right, bottom of the band.
Okay, I think I'm getting some interference. Hang on one second, because I'm like wondering why I'm not picking up some things. There we go. So I'm like, this little radio was hot earlier. <laughs> So this is um, 630 CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, 630 AM, and then we have uh, Nashville, WSM, 434 miles away, sweet, and we'll kind of just cruise on, you know, I should leave the volume on so you can hear what's going on. Manager. Local. And they look like... TSN Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles. This is uh, WLW, Cincinnati, 310 miles. You have to try one for yourself. Check them out Local, on WGN. CFZM, Toronto. Using the radio, 460 miles away. And WSB, I was getting about an hour ago. There it is. And if you put a loop on this, I'll just show you how much it changes. This radio loves a passive loop. So I bring a loop in. Makes a big difference when you find that paint station. It's nice. This information is free and could 760 your WGR. So you got some storms going here, little spikes. <laughs> 780. Local. And we'll go out to the. Uh, there's Louisville, WHAS. Last night just picked up KOA Denver. Super clear. It was beautiful. It's there. CJBC, Toronto. And I had WLW, or sorry, WWL here earlier today. It will get it. Bring a loop in. There you go. Got the call letters. Sweet. So yeah, fun radio. Um, just kind of cruise up the band. Hey, no mute on tuning. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. CHHA, Toronto, Ontario. Sweet. It tops out at almost 1700. Beautiful. Alrighty, turn that off. Okay, so there it is, the Texan DR920C. Final thoughts. Um, 
pretty cool radio. Uh, like I said, this reminds me of the R9012. And I think the R9012, I don't know if you could pick it up for under 20 still. I know on eBay I picked mine up pretty cheap last year. I don't know if the prices are going up on Chinese radios or not, on these Texans. But um, if you're going on Amazon, I think they're like 22 or $23. So for $5 more, you're getting quite an upgrade. You're getting probably the same components pretty much. You're getting the bonus of uh, having a clock, an alarm, a sleep function, a built-in light. Um, so yeah, that, that is a nice thing. And an, an accurate um, display of where you're at in the frequency. That, that is really nice. So it's like a small digital radio, even though it's pure analog still. There's still a tuning capacitor in there. And you can tell when I'm tuning it, there's no mute on tuning. I love it. Uh, so yeah, I mean for twenty eight fifty, it's a little bit of an investment. It's a little bit more than those um, uh, what was the uh, R ninety twelve, the nine oh nines, the you know I'm trying to think of the other one that I like a lot. Uh, I'll put a link up here towards it's it's that pink salmon colored radio, but it's FM stereo, but it's pure analog. I like that radio a lot too. Uh, but this radio, you know, it does pretty well. I mean, shortwave is picking up some stations tonight. I even got a ham rate operator there, which is cool. Um, I picked up a couple earlier too. They can't really make anything out. No single sideband, but not a big deal. This radio is really hot on the medium wave, by the way. Um, just amazing what I was picking up earlier. And then putting the loop next to it just enhances it that much more. Um, FM, I wish it could be better, but it's just the location. Again, this is the worst location to do that. So, uh, but yeah, this radio, uh, if it was if it was something you're looking for a first timer and you want a digital display um, and you want something with some decent reception, this is not a bad buy for $28. The reason why I say that is that I opened this radio up and took pictures of it. And it's on my Patreon page for my patrons who support me. I do that for them. I take pictures of all, a lot of the radios inside. It's kind of like a little bonus they get. Uh, but I can share it with you. There's a three and a half inch ferrite bar antenna in there, which is bigger than normal, which I thought was really nice. So I think that's where it's getting a lot of its sensitivity. So for the medium wave, this is a great radio for medium wave. Um, short wave listening. You know, for a little tiny portable, not too bad. If you hooked up a wire to it, you're going to do okay. You'll get your basic local, semi-local stuff. You know, I don't know if you're going to hear around the world, but you hear out of Florida and out of the, you know, southern states and that, depending on where you're at location-wise. For me, it's, my max is about probably 1,200 miles with this little guy. Um, so there you go. In a nutshell, yeah, I would say it gets a buy in my book for its price range, for what it can do. Um, it's It's not bad at all. I love it. Okay, well, there it is, the Texan DR20C. If you like it, big thumbs up. If you like Totterbert, big thumbs up. Yeah, smash the like button. <laughs> Kick that like button. Hulk smash it. I don't know. It's funny how people they are just like, here, hit the like button, hit the like button. So I don't know if that means more money in the future for somebody, but hey, why not? <laughs> um yeah, it's why I even had one guy, he's like, yeah, just hit the thumbs down button. I don't care. And either way, it, it helps. <laughs> it's true, actually, if you do some research on that. Um, so that's funny. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you love my antics, subscribe. It's cool. I put a video every night out. Every night there's a video. You'll always have something to watch on Todd Bird's channel. It's true. For about uh, six months now, there's been a video every evening. So you ring the bell, get notified. I'm pretty much averaging at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, a new one arrives. So if you want to like set your clocks, <laughs> that's when they launch. And uh, if you want to comment below about the DR920C, I think somebody kept pestering me. What's his name? Brian87.7. I think he kept mentioning this radio to buy and review. Well, this one's for you, buddy. <laughs> if you like it, go get yourself one. <laughs> I know you got that little Midland you've been playing with. Maybe get some shortwave, get a shortwave radio going too. Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You guys take care and goodbye.